Do you feel like you were dealt a bad hand at life? Like, wow, like I really wasn't given that much. Like, I, wow, I got this to work with. Man, can I get some, can I get a new deal, please? Can we get a shuffle? New dealer, you know? You ever feel like that as far as life goes? Well, if you have, you're not alone. My name is Robert LaFrance. Welcome to the LaFrance Paradigm where we learn and share strategies for an impact. Today, we are gonna be focusing on systems. All right, we're gonna be focusing on how everything around us is a system, how we're a part of a system, and how we need to learn how to take advantage and capitalize within the system that we're in, how to create our own systems, and what to look for in an external system, a third-party system, to make sure that we have the support, the community, the revenue, and the lifestyle that we want and deserve. I'm really excited to get talking to you about this today because this is essentially my first episode, season one, episode one of our mini series of the part-time path to freedom. And I don't know how that sounds. I think I'm going to run with it, but it made me smile when I thought of what I could name the series. And essentially, we're going to be talking about the principles and the key components that you need and are able to get from pretty much most business or entrepreneurial journeys and what you can do to capitalize on the systems, how to leverage on them, how to take advantage of the compensation plan and really know what to look for with the support. Okay. And here is your disclaimer. All efforts bring in different results. Okay. You need to make sure you go out there and do the income producing activity. You need to go out there and make sure you're making the phone calls, responding to the text messages. We all got at least a few minutes even when we're in the bathroom, and I would not be lying to you if I told you that a good part of my business is done while I'm in the bathroom or waiting for somebody else or something of just being stagnant, okay? There's always a moment where we can just set a text message, go to a Facebook post and be like, oh yeah, I think I can help you, or hey, does anybody want to come on my podcast, anything like that, all right? So first and foremost, let's talk about what to do with this deal that we have this this hand that we have the cards that we were guilt given and how to take advantage of that all right you might have to get all new cards you might have to get all new cards and it might not happen all overnight okay when you recognize that the cards in your hand aren't serving you any purpose and you're not able to get anywhere with these i want to first urge you to look at them again because there's probably something that you can learn from the cards that are in your hand of course we're talking about metaphysic metaphysics Mm, maybe we are. Maybe we're going down to the metaphysical level, but I was referring to metaphors. Okay. Look at it. What can you learn? Why was this given for you? Everything happens for you in life. Nothing happens to you. Everything happens for you in life. And so what can we do and how can we look at this? How can we change our belief system or learn from what this thing is giving us? Okay. Why would this happen for us? And see what we can learn and use in this hand. All right. Not all of them are completely wasteless. Some of them got to get you somewhere, but even if they'll help you get to the next hand, even if you have to fold, even if you don't think you got anything, maybe someone else will come in and offer something. Maybe you make a new relationship and someone says, oh, hey, I got this jack that would go great with what you have in your cards, okay? And it's all about being open to the opportunity and the resources and meeting new people and relationships. No matter what you're doing in life, whether you have a J-O-B or you're a successful entrepreneur, or if you're just looking for more opportunity, you can do that and learn so much from meeting new people, whether it's a business opportunity or someone just said something that resonated with you and you're like, you know what, I think I'm going to be happier today because that person said that. All right. So within the system that you have, you're going to have to learn how to operate. Is that getting your finances together? Is that getting your business? Is that getting your employees together? Is that doing a survey with yourself or with your staff, identifying if it's a training gap or if it's a uh, performance gap? Are these people motivated? Do they got anything going on at home? Is COVID happening? Okay. What is it that, what situation are you currently in and what do you need to do to get to where you want to go. If this was the best year of your life, if you were to look back and you just had the best year of your life, what is it that you did? What is it that you had to do to get to where you wanted to go? And then what did it look like? Visualize that. Imagine that. Feel that. Feel. Imagine, you know, for me, I like imagining standing on stage in front of thousands of people telling my success story and knowing that a good portion of them we did together. 
you know, like that's really exciting to me. So when I talk about, you know, what excites me or what is my reason why or what am I grateful for, I remember back to being on stage giving lectures or talking to people about how to better themselves and how amazing that makes me feel. You're going to have to do the same thing too when you're thinking about where you want to be in a year and how does that make you feel? Are you financially free? Are you out of debt? Are you almost out of debt? Are you homeschooling your kids? You know, like, are you getting that boss that's off your back, off of your back? (laughs) You know, like, what is it that you're doing and what is it that you have to do to get there? All right, so are we going to have to implement a new system? Are we going to have to implement a new system of thoughts, beliefs, money, side hustles, how we pay our bills, how we manage our bills, how we manage our time, how we manage cleaning our house, who cleans the house, all these things. How are we going to get from A to B? Are we going to take the long way or are we going to take the short way? Am I going to free up a few minutes today to make sure that I can make a few phone calls or am I just going to watch TV today? Is today a self-care day or is today a hustle day? How am I feeling? What am I doing today to make sure that I'm going to feel my best tomorrow? What routines, mindsets, beliefs, ex- uh, exercises, all these things, what am I constantly doing and thinking of to prepare for tomorrow? And what you are doing when you're asking yourself these questions, when you're constantly preparing, you are planning and preparing and making a decision and thinking about the next day, your next step and tomorrow, which means that you're going to be more prepared and all you have to do is execute. You got to write it on a piece of paper and say, I'm going to do this and then act on it. All right. And then over a period of time, you're going to come up with your own checklist, your own system, your own flow of how you work and how you like to be and how you feel your best, you know, because we're all different types of personalities out there you know they say that there's four different personality types there's the shark there's the dolphin there's the sea urchin and then there's the whale I think and they all have different roles in the ocean and just like you and I as human beings we all have different roles in this earth some are more leaders some some are more doers and some are you know great thinkers and some are great creators you know so it all just depends on you and your own unique uh, personality type and what interests you and what you design and build out of those. And that's what's really exciting about this world that we're living in today, because with the internet, cameras, our cell phones, our friends, we're able to start an idea and start a new business and start a whole movement and build a community that loves doing it, who sees eye to eye with you and wants to move forward with growth and all kinds of things. And when you realize that you have such potential at your fingertips, you would you'll no longer have poor belief systems you'll no longer slack on the stuff because you'll be so excited and motivated to just keep doing that one more activity because it's going to help you get closer and when you when you've taken care of yourself when you're not so focused on yourself and your own personal stuff anymore and you're focused on helping other people get to a point in their business where they want to be that's really exciting that's when you're like yeah So you, over a period of time, you're going to create your own system, your own checklist, and your own SOPs, how you live your life, how you live your day, how you feel your best, how you interact with other people, and how you do your business, okay? And then so you realize, okay, this is the new philosophy, this is the new system that I'm going to be a part of, now I need systems to uh, put in the columns of my infrastructure. I've laid the foundation, now I'm putting up the studs, right? What systems can I put and use as studs in my house in order for me to build this house that I'm trying to build? And this house is uh, pretty much talking about the life that you wanna live with the family and the lifestyle and the community. Okay, this is the house that we're about to build. So which systems can we use as the studs? That's totally up to you. But as far as being a business owner goes in the realm of real estate and network marketing, there's things like websites, there's things like people, there's things like how you get paid, there's things like how you stay in touch with your customers, there's things like how you market to those people. There's all different kinds of ways for you to do that in a linearly fashion, there's a way to do it in a uh, to-do list fashion, there's all kinds of ways for you to accomplish whatever it is that you need to do I like to leverage systems that are going to give me the most return on my investment and is going to give me the most time freedom. That's how I look at systems. I look at my systems. How is this going to make me do this the most expeditiously, you know, the the best, fastest way, not the fastest, the best way. And then what is going to bring me the most return on my investment? How much time am I going to have to put into doing this activity before I see anything out of it? And at what cost accompany this 
between A and C or A and B, whatever it is that you want to consider. So as you go through this trial and error and this learning curve of getting to know the different products and the services and how certain companies do business, you're going to find your good group of people. You're going to find your good group of systems that work and integrate well with each other. It's all a big cog in the machine. You're a cog in the machine. Every one of our systems a part of our businesses and our lives, Google, you know, the way that we eat our, our food, the way that you brush your teeth, the specific order, it's all checklists and procedures. We're all cogs in a big machine and we're all constantly trying to figure out the best way to do it. And given enough time and energy, you will be able to do that. So before we came from a place where we recognized what circumstance we're in, what hand we were dealt, and what system of checklists we were already living in, and we're saying, you know what, these aren't gonna give me the results that I'm looking for out of life. So now we're looking for the, the new systems, belief systems and structures and SOPs that we can implement in, such as real estate, network marketing, uh, having a community for you to be a part of, a movement, a hobby, things like that that make you feel the most like yourself, the, more, the most exciting version of yourself and where you're constantly getting re-energized, okay? You don't wanna be participating in anything that's gonna be draining, okay? So it's really good to think about how you wanna live your life versus just the outcome of it. Oh, I wanna make a lot of money so I can live my life this way. Okay, so between now and making a lot of money, we need to make sure that we're scheduling our life to live how we wanna live it because next thing you know, you're living this totally different life that you think you're gonna be able to live this way at the end, but you've designed it completely wrong. So for example, um, some of my hobbies, I'm a, I'm a volunteer firefighter, I'm a skydiver, um, I like um, being a dad, uh, and I love helping out my community, and I love speaking events. So for example, I love skydiving and volunteer firefighting, so I would always be at the DZ, or I'm always you know participating in training and being part of both skydiving and firefighting community. Well. As far as being in network marketing or real estate, I know both of those people need to live somewhere at some point. And not, not that I'm gonna force my, my industry on them, but hopefully by me being a part of this community, me doing what I love in the first place and getting to know my, my peers, we're gonna develop a relationship where they know that we can trust each other, especially in an industry like that or a community like that, trust is a big thing. And we, so we know that we have each other's best interests in mind. And then guess what? I'm having fun doing what I love doing and I'm doing business at the same time, developing and building rapport within my community, stimulating my community uh, through the services that we're providing, you know, the commerce and everything like that, people buying homes and selling homes, moving and hiring new professionals to do work on the house, all that kind of stuff while doing what I love, you know, so um, I got my coach rating, I'm going to be coaching people how to skydive, you know, so I, I love what I'm doing, I'm doing what I want with my time, and then I'm also getting paid by being a coach, okay, so think about what it is that you want to be doing, think about how you want to live your life and start implementing more of that in your schedule and figure out a way to capitalize or monetize that while still being true to yourself, and that's the biggest thing is, um, that's why I think belief comes secondary to the systems because you can't really believe in the system or the infrastructure that you've built until you've found that it works and then it meets your terms and conditions, your, your values. Okay, If you participate in something that doesn't meet your values, you're never going to see the actual success that you're capable of because you're going to be battling you know, self-doubt or you're, or you're just in it for the money and you know, you're, you know, you're going to be looking at people like a sale. You know, it all just depends on your circumstances and who you are as a person, but you really want to be aware of what it is that you're doing and how it's making you feel and if you're getting fulfillment because there, is, there are people looking for you to do exactly what it is that you know you want to do. You just haven't done it yet because you're either scared or you haven't been given the opportunity yet. But people are out there looking for you the way that you want to do it and you just need to have the courage to go out there and do it and you'll be so satisfied. You'll, it, it's crazy how quick it'll happen and it's, it's, it's incredible, all right? So really focus on your systems, your checklists, and implement the new systems into your life that are gonna make you be the person that you wanna be that's gonna bring you the most return on your investment who is really gonna give you the lifestyle and the revenue that you want for you to live your life. And then, then comes the belief system. 
you'll be working on your belief system as you work on this because it's going to be like you're going to be going through challenges, going through the experiences of what you think is right in the first place. You'll already be working on your belief system. But when you get to that next chapter of, okay, this is, I've laid my infrastructure, everything works. I know I have a good product. I know I'm a great person. I know I'm doing great things. Now let's move forward. Then it's just like knocking them down. It's like you have, it's like, I'd say you I have like a thousand batting average. It's just going to feel so good because your belief system is going to be sturdy. You're going to have a support system that works, so it's, uh, SOPs and checklists that works that you know if you just continue doing that, you have a recipe for success. All right. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and drop down what you took from this video so other people can learn and take different things from what we're all learning in our backgrounds here. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure that you're notified every time we release a new video. And thank you so much for being a part of this wonderful community. Without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. And then I wouldn't be able to hear such the great um, comments and impact that I'm getting from by doing something that not only just makes me feel good, but something that's clearly a need out there in the internet, <laughs> in the internet world. Okay. So make sure you follow me, drop a comment below, and I look forward to learning your story, hearing your story and sharing more of mine. They say courage is contagious and the rising tide lifts all ships. So help me help you help your friends. Take care.